Hello everyone. In this INR number 50, we are going to discuss about another important topic called as normal pressure hydrocephalus. So what is normal pressure hydrocephalus? It will be affecting the older adults, right? And it is example of communicating hydrocephalus, right? It's an example of communicating hydrocephalus with the patent aqueduct of Sylvius. So aqueduct of Sylvius will be patent and that is why it is called as patent. It is a communicating type of hydrocephalus. So in this, what will happen? You will see the CSF pressure are elevated episodically. It is not continuous. Episodically, they will be having elevation of the CSF pressure. So what will happen? There will be expansion of the ventricle. Ventricle will expand and this will distort and damage the fibers of corona radiator. So corona radiator fibers will be damaged and because of damage of the corona corona radiator remember because of the damage of the corona radiator which is around the ventricle which are the around the ventricle when they are getting damaged they are going to give rise to three symptoms gait apraxia dementia and urinary incontinence which is also called as hakim stride wobbly wacky and wet this is the mnemonic wobbly means gait apraxia means they will be having magnetic gait which is called as wobbly appearance right so they will be having magnetic gait when they will move they will be having their leg will be attached to the ground and that is why it is called as magnetic wave gait or wobbly dementia they will be having dementia which is the cognitive dysfunction that is why it is called as wacky wet means urinary incontinence will be there so in this patient when you will uh, see in large lateral ventricles will be there that is why hydrocephalus but when you are going to see the CT MRI, there will be little or no cortical atrophy, right? So that is the important point. Remember, they will have enlargement of lateral ventricle means they will have hydrocephalus, but little or no cortical atrophy will be seen on the CT or MRI scan. So what will be the treatment in this patient? Treatment will be the CSF drainage via lumbar puncture or via shunt. So ventriculoperitoneal shunt for normal pressure hydrocephalus will be done. So you can see that here, here you can see that ventricle catheter has been kept inside and it is going down it's having one way valve and it is going down into the abdomen right so you can see that ventriculoperitoneal shunt from the ventricle shunt is going down to the abdomen and excessive amount of the csf will be getting come uh, into the getting absorbed into the abdomen right so this is how the treatment will be done for the normal pressure hydrocephalus so keep revising this topic for your exam best wishes for your exams